A new alert tonight from police about the men accused of attacking two Jewish students on the DePaul campus. Police released these pictures tonight of the two people they're looking for in yesterday's attack. And there was another anti-Semitic incident at a synagogue in the loop. Our Darius Johnson is there tracking late information on both cases. Darius. Joe, good evening to you. A 19 and 20 year old were arrested by Chicago police. They they were both pro Palestinian protesters participating in a protest that started blocks away, protesting the uh, the election results. However, that protest ended right here at the synagogue, leaving worshipers frazzled, ending into arrests. In the last 24 hours, back-to-back anti-Semitic incidents. The first was at DePaul University around three, where two Jewish students were punched by these two masked men. The two students were standing outside the student center trying to talk with others about the war in Gaza when they were attacked. The university says it was premeditated. Things have gotten out of hand. David Goldenberg with the Anti-Defamation League says over the last year they've tracked a 300% increase in the number of anti-Semitic incidents in Chicago. <laughs> Hours after the attack at DePaul, this was the scene inside the Chicago Loop Synagogue around 7. We heard a horrible commotion and noise and we went to the front of our building to find the entire front of our building overwhelmed by a, crew, a big crowd of protesters. Inside, an event was being held with an Israeli journalist, and attendees were met by dozens of pro-Palestinian protesters. Blocking the entrance, uh, and they do have a bag of bullets. They were banging on our windows, screaming. They had they had bullhorns blaring in our building. Some protesters even entered and vandalized the synagogue. Chicago police arrested two people, one for criminal trespass and another for property damage, now leaving faith communities in the loop shaken. Okay. Being in downtown Chicago, it makes it very difficult, not only for us, but for other cultural institutions in downtown Chicago to have their people who engage with them to feel safe. That's why the Anti-Defamation League is calling on Chicago leaders to speak out. Accountability is a good start. Leadership is a good start. And to recognize the Jewish experience in Chicago right now is a good start. The city's Commission on Human Relations says religious-based hate crimes are up. They've received a total of 216 hate incidents year to date. Those are those are the ones that they've reported. They say 40 of those have been classified as hate crimes. Reporting in the Loop tonight, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS News Chicago. Erica. Thank you, Darius.